the snap grid has been improved in X2. And there is also an alternate grid option allowing two different snap settings to be set up and switched between. The snap resolution is set by left click and holding on the resolution drop down in the snap module. All of the standard musical intervals are available. There are also buttons to set triplet or dotted values. In addition to the smart grid choice and musical intervals, it's possible to set an exact unit in either ticks, samples, frames, or seconds. Right clicking on the landmark button will open up the snap preferences. Here, it is possible to set one or more additional snap points, such as markers or audio transients, by selecting the required choices. Checking the Snap to Nearest Audio Zero Crossings option will ensure that the snap will be adjusted from the chosen resolution slightly to ensure that an audio zero crossing point is used. There is also an intensity setting that can be adjusted from light, where the magnetic pull is quite weak, to extreme, where the pull is so strong it is almost impossible to move any object away from the grid. The snap can either be set to snap to or snap by. Handy for moving notes or clips by precise amounts, for example. Once the snap is configured, it can be turned on or off by clicking on the snap on off button or briefly pressing N. The alternate setting is configured in exactly the same way but while holding down the N key. This time we'll use the Smart Grid option. Once the Smart Grid is active, the resolution changes dynamically depending on zoom level. The snap on off button reflects whether Smart Grid is active or not. To switch between the two snap settings in use, either hold down the N key for a temporary change and then release to get back to the original, or press Ctrl Shift N to change permanently. The alternate snap then becomes the main snap and vice versa. You'll notice that with the Smart Grid on, the grid resolution changes as I zoom in and out. It really is a handy setting and one less thing that needs changing as we edit. For when a specific setting is required, there is always an alternate setting available at a key press.